still some of the best music in Metroid. All right. <laughs> First off, my thoughts on the game. I think the game is great. I think it was excellent. Um, there's a lot of talk going around, or, you know, a lot of talk going around about it. But the thing is, is like, we have a lot of new people who have just only heard of Samus due to Smash Brothers. Those people have no idea about the game itself. And so they go buy the game because of the hype. And Samus looks awesome, right? Always have, never looks better. Never had looked it better. But they play the game and they get disappointed. Okay. In Metroid, you will always get lost. It's kind of the point of the game. Um, and it started ever since part one, which part one I need to go back and beat, and I have not beaten part one. But you will get lost. The game does not hold your, hold your hand. It never did. Metroid Prime, it does a little bit. And in this one, I think they highlight different parts of the map, but still, you're going to get lost. Um, Samus herself, her attitude in this one is dope. <laughs> She's like, We've seen it before, we've been here before, let's get this whole way to get it done. And it, it shows in how they animated her during the boss battles. Um, I mean, she's walking slow around enemies, she's looking them in the face, charging up her beam, walking slow, shooting them. It's really good, her attitude in this one. Um, and the story that they threw in there too, it kind of brings it all together while everything's been happening. The feel of the game. It's something magical about how it feels. Um, I mean, it's just fluid as all get out. Um, I wanted to look and see who, what the team was behind that because they just nailed it. It might have been as good on Returns, uh, Metro Return. That was the one before this one. But I don't think so. Of course, it was on the, the Game Boy as well. But yeah, this one is, it. I mean, she moves like butter. Even in small like things with her animations, like she'll hold her hand and, like there's a there's holes that she can jump in with her roller ball, right? But if the if the hole is right here, she goes against the wall, she'll hold her hand up on it, you know, or um when she's bending down, you know, she just moves real fluidly, you know, aiming and it's yeah. Stage and music. The stages are a little bit kind of blocky because of the way it is, but the music I think is good, but I have to listen to the soundtrack by itself. All the rest of the soundtracks from the series are good, so I know this one has to be. But it's just not as memorable as the previous ones. And as far as playing it, yeah, I think that you should play it. But you are going to get lost. That's the nature of the game. How it works is the ability that you got before was the ability that you need to use where you got lost at previously. So just keep that in mind, and I think you'll have fun playing Metroid Dread.